BCTV's Roland Boyden here, so to welcome you back to another edition of our weekly video calendar sponsored by the Brattleboro Savings and Loan, taking a look at each one of the area's events in the form of clickable links behind me, just so long as those annotations are on in the bottom right corner of your YouTube video viewer. It's a Thanksgiving Day edition of the calendar here, so plenty of cause for celebration, but for the thousands of area residents left to wonder where their next meal will come from, Thanksgiving's no exception to that stressor. Uh, that's something that's seen the results of the annual area food fund drive project Feed the Thousands become more and more critical each and every year. And this year's goal of 25 tractor trailer trucks worth of non-perishable food items along with $100,000 in cash to go along with that uh, has uh, all fallen on the shoulders of all of us here in the community. Each and every member of uh, this region who's got an extra dollar or two to spare to the campaign. That's uh, all something that's had Project Feed media partner and longtime volunteer Tim Johnson at his most passionate this past week when he hosted a, a roundtable discussion here in BCTV's downtown studios for the Feed the Thousands 2013 campaign kickoff. Drop to your shop. Make a donation in Care of Projects Feed at River Valley Credit Union or feedthethousands.org. Make a contribution there. Please, whatever you do this holiday season, think about your neighbors, your friends, your family. Could be you. Project Feed the Thousands now in full swing for its 2013 campaign season, looking to raise enough uh, non-perishable food items and funds in cash to last uh, the area's hungry folks a full year. That's a, uh, a big task, so anything anyone can donate, whether it's a dollar or a hundred dollars, whether it's a single jar of peanut butter or a whole case, it all goes to a good cause. You can drop where you shop at hundreds of stores around the area, donate at banks all around, and you can uh, even make online donations via PayPal with your debit or credit card at Project Feed the Thousands, all one word, dot org. All right, uh, with that, we'll move on here in our video calendar for this Thanksgiving weekend. And if it's Thanksgiving weekend, it must also be Black Friday weekend, and that's kind of the teaser here for our next uh, item on the calendar clickable link if you want to go there. This Black Friday, the uh, online box store deals look to be as promising as ever for residents looking to save as much money as possible during their holiday shopping. But the cost of sending income out of the community to online retailers can be higher than it might seem. So as you compile your Christmas and holiday lists this year, perhaps consider a few local items like some of the arts and crafts our region is known for, many of which will be on display this Thanksgiving Black Friday weekend as part of the 35th annual Putney Craft Tour. As 26 area artists across the Putney region open their studios to the public this coming Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m., adding local paintings, hand-blown glass, wrought iron, hand-sewn quilt work, and much, much more, all as options to your holiday list this year. We've decided that it would be beneficial if we formed a little organization because there were a lot of craftspeople in Putney and open our respective studios so that people could come and see what we did and where we worked. And rather than just seeing an object in a store, you got to see where it was made and who it was made by. And that will jump ahead in the calendar a little and take a look at this Tuesday, December 3rd here for a special event uh, at the request of the Anti-Nuclear Affinity Group, the Safe and Green Campaign. Five expert panelists from across the political spectrum will gather for an open forum to discuss the region's options when it comes to decommissioning uh, of Energy Nuclear's Vernon-based boiling water reactor, Vermont Yankee, which will, as of a year from now, no longer be operational. And while that remains a victory for groups like Safe and Green, um, Entergy's plans for the spent fuel remaining after the plant's shutdown is of equal concern, with NRC rules providing alternate options to the controversial concept of safe store. Options that could mean decommissioning would begin within five years of closure, not the 60 years predicted under safe store, something that Safe and Green campaign hopes will lessen the economic and environmental impact to the region. The Nuclear Regulatory Commission has said that safe store for 60 years is okay, but given the shaky financial standing of Entergy, it's hard to really fathom that safe store is appropriate. Panelists for next Tuesday's event include the Wyndham Regional Commission's Tom Buchanan, Citizens Awareness Network, Deb Katz, and Nuclear Waste Management Associates, Dr. Marvin Reznikoff. 
The event kicks off at 6.30 p.m. in Classroom 101 uh, at SIAT on Kipling Road uh, in Brattleboro, and it's free and open to the public. That does it for another edition of our video calendar here. Thanks for checking in, but be sure to catch this and uh, many other area headline events as part of our full 15-minute broadcast at week's end. It'll be Friday, 5.45 p.m. on BCTV, Comcast, Channel 8. And, of course, you can also head to youtube.com slash TV and subscribe to get all the latest web uploads throughout the week. And we'll pack them all in and sum them up at the 5.45 live broadcast. In the meantime, enjoy your holiday. Thanks for watching.